God bless and save them, says Joyce. Absolutely, Joyce. Yes, indeed. Very respectful, Scotty G. You've got to. You've got to. You know? But also, we have to carry on with our lives. And we have to carry on with our light heartedness about lives. Otherwise, we'll go under. You know, these grown, so supposedly grown up people, you know, somebody's given them guns and weapons and, you know, they, they, they just need to stop blowing up each other and, and the wee ones. These are human beings, just like you, just like me. Right. Uh, and, and I'm not joking about I'll go to the meetings if it would help. You know, because as I say, I have no agenda. Uh, what do you think would happen if the old town of Jerusalem got hit as Jesus' tomb is there? Well, what you need to be careful, Sean Kelly, you'll have heard of the First World War. Now, the First World War, like all wars, could have been avoided. But certain people thought, we'll make money here if we go in on both sides and kill humanity. So, you know, big business. Big, killing everybody is big business. And uh, what happened was, as you know, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his good lady were assassinated in a big open back car in Sarajevo in the Balkans. And um, that was known as the tinderbox. Do you know what a tinderbox is? People rub flint and stone together to get a spark, a little bit of dried leaves and hay, get a little bit of smoke. And then you can start a bonfire. Colorado Springs says, hi, good morning, Colorado Springs. We love you. So that was your tinderbox. So we have to be terribly careful that the Middle East does not become the tinderbox for World War Three, So that's why the big people need to get round the table. Uh, you know, let's get Donald Trump in there, round the table and see what we can be doing. He's a great guy for, for the peacemaking. We didn't have any wars when Donald was in the White House, you know. Uh, Scotty, Scotland you should be concerned about, not the Middle East. Scotland has problems of its own. Mr. Martin, nobody on this planet is more concerned about Scotland than me. And you are completely 100% clueless about some of the things I do behind the scenes for the people of Scotland, for just the ordinary people of Scotland. So to make a comment like that, and I'm surprised at you, Mr. Martin, because I didn't have you down as a dafty. I know you sometimes like to cheek up, but to make a comment like that about Scotty McClue. I'll read it again so that the world can hear it. Mr. Martin says, live on the YouTube, guys, Scotty, it's Scotland you should be concerned about, not the Middle East. Scotland has problems of its own. I think, Mr. Martin, on balance, right now, this second, the Middle East gets it for the biggest problem. But to make a comment like that about Scotty McClure, oh, dearie, dearie me, Mr. Martin. Uh, so there you are, dinky-doo, I say. 